In our last video, we looked at cluster shared volumes with block storage as virtual machine storage. In this video, we're going to look at the other method for hosting virtual machines, which is the SMB share. Access SMB storage with the same UNC method Windows uses to share files, folders, and printers. While familiar, the required underlying technology is a newer iteration of SMB, specifically SMB3. SMB3 was first introduced in Windows Server 2012 and was updated to 3.02 in Windows Server 2012 R2. In order to host Hyper-V virtual machines, the share must be on at least version 3. To see what the version of a share is, start at the host you want to connect from. In our case, we're going to use the first Hyper-V node. First, we need to do something that opens an SMB connection to the target host. We'll just pull a directory listing. Now, we look at open connections with get SMB connection. As you can see here, this connection is version 3.02. The connection will be negotiated to the highest protocol level that both systems support. For a detailed explanation of SMB3 and more information on configurations, a good place to start is http colon slash slash smb3.info. Of special interest is the subject of scale out file servers in which you use multiple Windows hosts to present back-end storage in a fault-tolerant configuration. You may also want to use that site to research storage spaces, as it provides many features of dedicated storage devices. As this video series is not about storage architecture, we're only going to cover the very basics. The underlying storage must be formatted as either NTFS or ReFS. While possible, it is highly recommended that you never share the root of a drive, as you may encounter difficulties with the way that permissions operate on a root. Instead, create a folder and share that. Since we're already here, it's okay to use the traditional Windows Explorer interface to set up the share like this. You need to make sure that you grant full control to the host that will be connecting. If you create it this way, you must also ensure that you disable caching. Another way to create the share is through Server Manager. Access the Files and Storage Services node. Click Shares. Right-click in this area and click New Share. Pick SMB Share Applications. We're creating a new node here, so let's choose that option and click Next. We'll name our new share and the underlying folder the same. You have the option to encrypt the communications link if desired. Make your selection and click Next. We'll revisit the topic of permissions in depth in the next video. For now, we're going to add the host names of the nodes so that they can access virtual machines on the new share. Click Customize Permissions. Then click Add. Then click Select a Principal. We want to change the object types to include computers. Now, we just need to put in the computer accounts that will access this share, as well as any administrative users. The share is set up with everyone as full control by default. We'll change these permissions by adding the same accounts and removing the Everyone account. And that's it. Just click Create. As you might expect, there's a PowerShell way, and it's much quicker than the wizard. There's only three quick things to do. The first is to create the folder. We'll use MD, which is actually an alias for new item that works like the original DOS MD command. Next, we create the share with the permissions that we want. Don't forget to use the dollar sign on the computer name. The last thing to do is copy the permissions from the share we just created to the NTFS permissions. These new shares are now ready to host your cluster's virtual machines. In our next video, we'll take a closer look at the security settings involved in storage for your Hyper-V virtual machines.